All right, everybody, we're back. Um, we're not, we're not right here. I had a little bit of lag for some reason, killing an enemy, and that was really strange. I was not expecting that. So I just cut the video early because it was one minute long anyway. So here we are. And welcome to another episode, by the way. Of Skyborn. Hopefully we'll be able to get out of the desert this time. Hmm. Also, since there's an HP and, uh, and right there, don't worry too much about, uh, using magic on these fights. But I haven't been really caring about how much magic I use. Yeah, I feel like with the build that I went for, it's a lot easier to go through the game without sacrificing as much for, um, to MP. Okay. Let's go flash. The commando went out and I did the little thing. No cloud reaper's not going to get it. Okay, there we go. All HP and MP statuses with the bird. Which is really great because, um, if I'm not mistaken. Have we made it at last? Thank goodness I'm carrying half the desert with me in my boots. No, wait. I forgot about the defense system. Meet pain and suffering if you're playing on hard mode. The beat the sand dozer is a very, very, very strong uh, opponent because of the poison and the abilities that it has. Immediately on Coleman's turn, use regeneration. So that he doesn't have to waste as much uh, HP again. And it's called shot. And use sniper shot. We're also gonna use skull bash again. Because that actually works on this boss. See how, how great that ability is? And as you can see, called shot. I mean, look at that damage. Just don't even have to worry about that enemy. Well, that was a boss. We get another circuit breaker for that, but I don't think I'm going to switch to it. And the reason why is because um, the Steel Magnum also has the same sniper shot ability. The only difference is this would and mildly increase our agility, where our agility is already increased by the Steel Magnum Plus 2. So there's really no other reason to get this other than agility increase, and... Yeah. The weapons you make are always better than the ones you obtain, essentially. At least for those two. Corwin, or not Corwin, um... Uh, Sullivan and Claret. Wow, look at all this stuff! Don't worry, I won't touch a single thing, I promise. It's a great hideout. Sandstorms and grit keep both airships in the sky worn away. Everything's covered in dust. No one's been here in years. This is it. What is what? The machine in the design. Looks like my parents made a good bit of progress before. Does it work? No, it's not finished yet. This is just the framework. Which is good news, really. All I have to do is this. Design frame. And voila! I can set it up and working at it in my own shop. Your shop? I thought you weren't going back there. A new shop on my new ship. You're turning that beautiful vessel into a workshop. Of course, the flying workshop, and it'll be wonderful. Do we have everything we need? One last thing. The blueprints has a list of all the parts I need to finish this. Most of it should be readily available to buy in town, except for this one, ether fuel. What on earth is ether fuel? I have no idea. It's nothing we ever used at the shop. Just have to do some research. There's gotta be someone who knows what it is and where to get it. No use sticking around here any longer. Let's head back to the rebel base.
Exactamundo. And thankfully, if you kill all the enemies, um... Killed all the enemies, you don't really have to worry about going back and, uh... Maybe hitting one while you're going all the way back. Because let me tell you, you have to walk all the way back. So I think the first zone of this place, like the first, uh, part of the desert. And this way, and I think we're comfort. Jilly. I'm shaking, Bacon. There you are. Oh, silly, it's awful. Skyborne, they, they found us somehow. The base is under attack. What? There's a ship out here, but I couldn't find you, and now. Just to the ship, quickly. What is this thing? I guess there really is no escaping them. Is this end for us? Take the wheel, Clara. You're probably the best pilot among us. Hurry! Look who shut up to the party. General's on a roll today. Well, let's get rid of this guy. Just because we can, really. Oops, I did not mean to regenerate. Optional kill, you can just walk past him. But being the XP lover, I am. No. Oh, reinforcements? Get him. Your worms no longer. Where is that? <laughs> that was awesome. Completely optional, but. Okay, potion. Do we have anything to, like, get eaten up with magic without having to... The reason for that is because you walk up here. Claire, it's Spencer. You! Yes, me. 
Thanks to you, I was able to discover not one, but two level encampments. You've exceeded my expectations. I'm quite enjoying my new rank as general. What does he mean? Pirate? I had nothing to do with this. Didn't you, though? Once our bargain was struck, I did a bit of research on you. I have a reputation at our town, did you know? A little rough around the edges, but hardworking, a kind girl who always goes out of her way to help. Heartwarming. Bargain. I never kept my end. I didn't tell him anything. You didn't need to. It's far easier to follow the trail. You were only too happy to talk about that lovely girl who fixed up the heater. You may have failed your end of the bargain, but my ends have been achieved. You meant my word, and your brother's been pardoned and released. My debt to you is paid. Oh, and one last thing. Lieutenant Shin, these citizens are guilty of treason. Execute them. <laughs> Being not worth this gum, you will die for a worthy cause, my prestige. The sight will sing songs about my victory today. No, they know. Be careful, because Shin is actually very strong. She is one of the ones where if you did not level your skills or are very new to the game, um, you not level your skills but pick the right class, you're fighting her most effectively. She is a pain. Okay, we're gonna use a hot shot. And a sniper shot. And we're also gonna use Skull Lash. Because, like every boss in this game, they are weak to paralysis. Any shock rate of slowing down. And we are going to debilitate Spider Man Soldier A. We are going to use throttle. Now we are going to use Lazarus. Right for one. We are going to use and Skull Bash. And Sniper Shot. And Command Aura. Again. So that he gets commanded to Aura. We're going to use the Dilithid on the other Skyrim- or Skyborn Soldier, almost like Skyrim Soldier again, and that is it for Shin. Okay, now we can do Skull Bash and B because the other one can severely slow down. And that's it. Got a ribbon for that. No, no, no. How dare you interfere with my meteoric rise to the top? Mark my words. I'll get you yet, Claire Spencer. And my promotion, too. We can technically be calling it a meteor be falling. Let's get back to the airship before she comes back with help. Then I think we need to talk. I'm going to keep an eye on the autopilot. Yeah. Yes, well, I'll just be admiring of you. Would you stop looking at me like that? I'm still trying to figure you out. There's nothing to figure out, it's just like he said. The Daikon guy tried to make a deal with me while I was in prison. He wanted me to find the Red Spectre and the Rebels and report back to him using that Jake is ransom. I still don't think a rebellion is going to fix anything between Skywards and humans. Red Spectre, I mean, you for, are the first person to ever, I've ever seen to stand, bother to stand up for half breeds. I never even realized just how bad the lot really is. We're doing something so good, giving them a safe haven. Now it's all ruined because of me. Daikon tracked you down by your good deeds. It is he who has done the wrong here, not you. There's gotta be something I can do to fix this. There is. We regroup, form a new plan. Skyborn have once again done the trade of their for committing atrocities. They must be stopped. I suggest we go meet with your brother. We need somewhere safe to regroup. If any of my people are made it out of the base. Alright. 
Sorry, all the people who were hurt or worse. It's painful to think about. They all knew the risks, Claire. Now you do too. Spencer, dry dock and repair. Claret! And Cora, when you guys are okay. Jake! What happened to you two? It's kind of a long story. And then we fought off the Skyborne Lieutenant, and now we're here. The sky's above Claret. You sure know how to get yourself in trouble. You could have just told me that the whole underground rebel movement and things saved, and saved us a whole lot of trouble. Oh my, are you sure we can't talk about this in private? Don't mind me. Me neither. Why didn't you tell me about Mom and Dad? Do you have any idea how rough it was when I was growing up? I was hoping they'd come back someday. You were only six years old. I couldn't tell you they were dead. I figured you then. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Jake, you have all the sensitivity of a brick. Of course you... You did think marrying me off the Sylvan chest for this part of a business deal was a good idea, so somehow I'm not surprised. This just keeps getting better and better. We were the only ones who not, oh, I know made it out. This guy went rounded up all the half-breeds and took them away. The half-breeds were hauled off to the prison while most of the humans weren't so lucky. So no stopping these butchers. Not so unstoppable. Jake, take a look at these notes. Prometheus engine? These are dads. Have you ever heard of something called ether fuel? No, actually I have. I remember from when I was little, Mom and Dad would used to talk about making a trip out to the Northern Wall Forest. Makes up most of the big island south of the city. Northern Wall Forest? What a romantic sand it has to it. Hardly, it's a beautiful sight from the outside, but inside it's festive with monsters. Yeah, exactly. That's why I remember it. Sounds like a pretty weird place to get fuel. Well, thanks, Jake. I was just curious, really. Just curious? You're not gonna finish the machine? I'd like to someday, but it isn't as important now, is it? Daikon's got to put some kind of damper on your rebellion. On the contrary, it'll be even more useful now than ever. How so? Our base may have been destroyed, but Jimmy says that the Skyborn were capturing our half-breed friends. That means it must mean they're still alive somewhere. If we knew where they were being kept... We might have a chance at rescuing them. Imagine the Skyborn will move into a higher security area. Who knows what facilities they have way at the top of the city. Right you are. I'm not sure where they're being held yet, but Claire's machine will be all the firepower we need to free them. Probably. Can we afford the delay, though? I'm afraid we have no choice. We have no info, no backup, or equipment, or manpower. No, I've dug themselves in deep this time. We just blew a hole in the wall last time. Heavens no, I'd had maps of the entire prison, every guard was accounted for, an escape route land. A safe house on the way to works. Oh. It's my hope that, with your machine, we'll be, be able to get away with just blowing a hole in the wall. Risky, but I see no other way. Wax blessed, I'll have you to I'll have to depend on you for gathering intelligence while we're out. Could have got a bit of full fight left in these joints, you can count on me, lad. Alright, do you think we'll have any trouble leaving the city? Wow. You just leave that to me. We just need to take the Celestial Ele Elevator into Uptown and then head to the South Bridge. Only we're leading we're golden. Now is the first time when we start to have a little bit of leeway with what we can and cannot do. This is when you can first do like quests and stuff like that that are not storyline based. And uh First things first, we're gonna to wanna to go over here, because there's a chest. The Jack of Spades. I the bows in my hair ever since the Skyborn Empress wore it, it's all the rage. What are you looking at? Name's Atlas. Atlas? Aww. Oh. But most of my life being small, all that ends now. I'm one step away from my world shrinker potion. Once I finish it, I'll tower over all of you. Problem is, the only last ingredient is one spot in the world in that cursed northern wild forest. Can't find anyone brave enough to grab me what I need from there. 
to normal gold petals. You know, we're headed that way. We could try and find some other flowers for you. Finally! Bring those ten flowers to me, I'll let you have the first batch. Don't worry, full size folks. You shouldn't see the same effect, but you'll nearly get much, much stronger, probably. The normal gold petals look like yellow flowers, but have deceit below or sparkle. Quest item. Though, also known as. So we have Platina Magnum. Um, flamethrower, which it it doesn't work. Um, Platina Blade, Chi Blast, Blast 3. Um, I think we just have Chi Blast 1 at the moment. Yep. I'm gonna want 3 because 3 is a, um, hits all enemies ability, and that's really great. Um, hmm. Even if I was to buy two of these, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be better than what I have. We got a plant weave hat for Corwin. Tina Koi for Claret. Tina Helm for Sylvan. Well, actually, two of those for Chaska, too. Plot weave tunic for Corwin. Uh, Platina mail for uh, Claret and Chaska. And Platina Kurt. Here's for Sylvan. Flat weave gloves. Grips. And gloves. And Platina gauntlets. And flat weave. We're gonna augment all this stuff back anyway, so... Got the coif. Mail. And the grace. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the augments we have. Do we have any? Nope. We're gonna save it. We're gonna sell some stuff. We don't need gold nuggets anymore, or coal, or iron. Uh, physical damage sniper shot. We don't need those magnums anymore. Or this. Or that. If you're wondering, no, you cannot. I, I'm not. I don't know if it's been made obvious yet, but you cannot um, get your augments back. So it's better just to sell everything you don't need because eventually it's gonna get be a big pain if you keep it all. So the ribbon protects against all the buffs. Um, I actually, kind of want to put that on the uh, core one. And let's see here. We're gonna need to buy augments now, but before that, there are some things, other things we need to take care of. Blackstone bodyguards make it ten times what I make. I'll see what the duty play. Pay. Pay. Okay, just making sure we've got this. Casca is now level 19. Someday, Junior, all that sun that touches will be yours. There's no sun down here, it's all smog, I want more. Look, Weary. I've got just the thing to take an off if you got the coin. Ew, how about Noah? More for me. I'm creepy. 
from Alberta, a nation on the other side of the Calador Desert. On my way here, a door which had been locked for years is now open. But I dare not venture further. Stuff up because we got to. Oh, it's good to have heals for when you're not um, close to an HP or MP or a generator. Okay. I don't think there is a uh, augment store on this level. Guy's gone for some reason. Okay. Yep. That's just go where we're going. That one's out of operation. Here we are. The western exit of this room is to the northern wall way to the northern wall island. Onward. I don't suggest uh, going there quite yet. There's a lot of things that just opened up for us that we need to take care of first. The arena champion is amazing. After every win, he shows his king of spades card. I wonder what all that's about. That's the one card in the entire game that you're actually given. Uh, information as to where its whereabouts are. Walking back to Uptown. Well, oh my, what a disaster. Problem. A wedding band was stolen. Or maybe I did dropped it down the well. Either way, my family in the Wadsworths were at war. My father and an old man Wadsworth arranged a marriage between me and that spoiled Lindy Clayton Wadsworth. Anyway, they think that I threw away the wedding band myself and now they're pricing each other out of business. Sorry to hear that, guys. Look like the crafty type. There's a reward in it if you find that wedding band for me. That and the shops in town will open back up again and I can get my father to stop feuding with the Wadsworths. I do like rewards. Iron Hill Mines, which is underground. Right under our very feet. The entrance is just north of here in the building at the forge. Okay, accessories. Uh, well, actually... Ah, oh, great. That's not enough agility and strength to make that worth getting right now. Um... While a lot of this stuff is awesome, I don't quite suggest getting it yet. Um... There's a reason to that, but we'll get beginning to it in a minute. I suggest buying stuff from the store after you go to, um... This place and finish that quest up. Lazy bones, I'm gonna fight a lot of them. My miners are whining about a cave-in in some sort of dire situation. Say, you wanna make a coin, friend? Get in there and rescue my twinkle-toed miners. Last the cave-in open with some dynamite. I don't have a box of it right here. I suppose I have another use for dynamite. I'll get right on it. What we're going to want to do is we're going to make a tier 3 Platina Platina Magnum plus 2. And we're going to want to replace this one, I believe. Look at that damage increase. But that's not all, folks. We're down here. You get an augment. Or plus 3. Plus 75 attack power on any weapon. You do that, and it gives 218 damage increase. It is awesome. Very awesome. So on the next episode, we'll be going through the mines. And then after that, we'll be tackling on one of the most important parts of the game, which is the arena. Do that now. On my first playthrough, I of both this and Deadly Sin that I did at the same time. 
I did not realize that the arena was even a thing, and I didn't talk to anyone, and I was screwed for the last half of the game, because I did not think that that was a thing, and there are weapons in there and stuff in there that would make your life so easy that I just didn't uh, see, I just didn't use, and I regretted it later when I could barely be anything after this point in the game. So, in the next episode, we'll be continuing on. See you guys then.